Hi there, my name's Andy Sykes, otherwise known as Hexjibber. I'm a award-winning animator and I also teach flash animation in universities and colleges here in the UK. This is my website, hexjibber.com, and uh, here's the lesson. This is the first of my lessons in Flash CS5 to show you how to animate in Flash. Um, this is going to be a really quick one, just going over the basic interface and showing you what Flash looks like. But first off, I thought I might show you this is my most recent show reel, just to give you an idea of the kind of work that I do. It's on my website, hexjibber.com. It's a very good website, you might want to check it out. Um, do a lot of anime influence stuff. This is some of the commercial work I've done, but also um, adverts I've done for my self published colouring book um, and all kinds of bits and bobs. And basically, all the techniques I used in this are fairly simple. It's just that once you get used to using them, you can do some more complicated and interesting stuff. So I'll just let this finish off. Got some washing backgrounds and things. Wow. Uh, this is what you'll see when you open Flash. This is Flash CS5. Um, you can create a Flash project from a template. There's plenty that come with Flash. I've created some of my own and the animation and books. Um, I'd say to get started it might be a good idea to choose one of the ones that comes with Flash. So I'll go for media playback and you've got all kinds of different choices here. I'll go through what all of these mean in a different lesson because they're quite complicated. So I'm just going to go for HDTV 1080. So here you can see we've got a stage. This is where you put all your stuff and move it around. Up here you've got a timeline, uh, this is where you put your keyframes and move through time. Here you've got your toolbar with all your different tools, pens, pencils, erasers, zoom, moving things around, eyedropper tool, fills, all kinds of stuff, lasso tool, selection tool, free transform. Over here you've got your library, that's where you put all your assets. So your symbols, any pictures you've imported, sound, etc. Up here you've got your colour and your swatches, so you can decide what colour things are going to be. Down here I've got the scene window. I tend to separate my animations into scenes to make them a bit simpler. Down here I've got my properties, uh, transform, uh, info and alignment. They'll come in handy much later. Your properties essentially just tells you information about your projects. So here you can see we've got a frames per second of 29.97, which is the American standard, and it's 1920 by 1080 pixels. We'll go into all of this in more detail later on. So you can see if I get my lock on pen out, I can draw in the stage. Draw a smiley face. You can draw with a mouse as well, so don't worry if you don't have a graphics tablet. So yeah, basically you draw stuff in the stage and you move it around in the timeline. Here I've got my controller for playing stuff. Um, and so I think I'll call this lesson an end. And in the next lesson I'll show you how to make a symbol and a simple motion tween so we can actually get stuff moving about. So I'll see you there. Hey, if you've enjoyed this lesson, why not consider checking out my website, hexjibber.com, where you can also buy my book the Hexjibber Colouring and Activity Book. You can buy it in the UK, US, Germany, France, Japan, from Amazon and other good stores.